Hey friends, welcome back to Chris Cranks. All right, uh, had about three people request this bait, so I'm gonna do my best with it. Now, I don't have one in hand, so it's hard for me to tell. I went looking at a bunch of pictures on the internet, so I think I can come pretty close. Not a dead match, but pretty close, probably close enough for you guys to paint your own. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the AK Toro. Okay, I've been looking at this bait hard, trying to figure out what colors I'm gonna use. Um, so this is what I came up with. I'm gonna try the transparent yellow for the base. Um, obviously I already got titanium white on. Um, then I'm gonna come back with the transparent um, orange. For the uh, stencil, I'm gonna use pearlized satin gold. And then for the top black, I'm going to do um, detail smoke black on it. Um, I'm questioning the orange. Since I don't have one, actually orange and the yellow, kind of. I, I, some pictures I look at, it kind of looks more of a chartreuse yellow. But then other pictures I look at, it looks more like a yellow with the orange blend going into it. So, um, yeah, we're going to try this. And um, we might mess... We might add something else once we get to the orange and just to see if we're getting close to what it looks like in the pictures. Like I said, I don't have one, so I a lot of times I like to look at one and I can really make a better decision. But from these pictures, I think we'll try this and see how it goes. The only question is, is my red, is my orange going to be deep enough? If not, I might add a little bit, a drop of um, something like a deep red or a... a or this wicked crimson might add a little drop of that in there just to just to deepen it up a little bit but uh let's get the yellow on and um see what it looks like we're doing two baits because this bait comes in like a pop or two pop max this and it actually comes in like three or four different ones i think um but you know I'm not trying to dead copy this thing perfectly, um, but I think I can come up with something that's pretty comparable, and um, you can probably uh, paint some of these for yourself. Um, and my stencil will be a little different, but it'll be pretty close. So um, again, I'm not trying to copy these baits, but people request them, they wanna paint their own. So, you know, I give it a shot. Um, I got a couple of other ones that people want me to paint. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna paint it and uh, see see what we can do and see how close we can get. All right, let me get the paint and the brush and I'll bring you back. Okay, got the Createx transparent yellow in the brush. Let's spray this on. Let me get you a little higher so we don't get out of the picture. I'll spray this on and and see what it looks like. Turn up my pressure a little bit. Got the popper and the 110 that we're going to do. And this one was a little tricky to figure out looking at pictures because pictures were some of the pictures were different colors. So it was like I say, I always like that. If I have one in my hand, I can usually tell you exactly what colors or what what colors we could use and I was struggling between using the chartreuse yellow or this or, a, or the com art I think you could probably use any of these colors uh, com art would probably work the Hansa yellow 
and maybe um, the uh, golden yellow, transparent yellow, or even chartreuse if you wanted that chartreuse there, but this Create Tech Yellow has a little bit of a chartreuse look to it, too. On white, for sure. So we'll get this coated on here and give it a minute to, to dry. that dry get this yellow out of the brush and I'll be back to paint the next color okay let's put the orange on um, I got transparent orange on this one and I put one drop of wicked crimson red in there just to give it a little more of that that make that orange pop a little bit I don't know if you can see that in the cup but I want a little bit more of that fire orange color. So, and it doesn't go down very far. So let's get it on the top real deep first. Yeah, I gotta clean off my tip a little bit. I was, I'm doing more than one because I'm doing a short video on this as well, so. I got another another set over here that I'm doing and I got this stupid nap flying around. Seen in the mouth is red, is orange. I don't have a picture I can see the mouth, but I'm going to do it orange. Just a hair down a little more. Yeah. That side looks pretty good. All right, let's do the 110 here real quick.
Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna put my mesh on and uh, we'll get the black on there. Okay, got it all wrapped up and everybody usually asks me about where I get these clips. These clips are perfect, I love them. They don't scratch your baits up and you can pull them, they'll hold pretty tight on some stuff, um, but I got them in Walmart. I think it was in the office supplies, officer in the crafts area. Is where I got them, but everybody usually always asks me where'd you get those clips. So, all right, let me clean up my tip real quick just to make sure we're not don't get a splatter on there. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to stay right on the back, right on the top of the back, and try to get the turn so you guys can see. Didn't take a lot. Okay, that's it. That's all we got to do. Dry it and then I'll uh, peel it off for you. Yeah, there. there we go. Oh, nice. It's got a little down there, but I don't think it's going to hurt. Once I get the gold on top of it, too, you probably won't see it. Just hit the eye a little bit. Get a clip here. Eyes got a little bit of black around it. And out to the nose. And we'll get the tip of that nose. Tip of the mouth, actually. There we go. Ready for gold. Okay, let me get the 110 wrapped up. I'll spray that for you real quick because it's uh, it's gonna be a little more tricky because it's so thin on the back. But yeah, let me get it uh, wrapped up and I'll bring you back. Okay, let's get the back on this guy. Yeah, with the detailed smoke black, it usually you gotta go over a bunch to get that black to darken up and as I was looking at the picture more I thought well maybe I should do okay 
I'm barely, I'm on like 15. Or PSI, I guess. Dry that and peel it off for you. And we'll be ready for gold. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Nice. That's kind of what I wanted right there exactly what I wanted. It got a little farther down here, but like I said before, that'll cover up with the with the gold, I think. Hit these eyes a little bit. Tip of the nose. for some gold okay got my stencil on there it's close it's not exactly like the Toro but it's, it's close and we're using satin gold pearl satin gold createx It's not very prominent, you, even on the original bait. It doesn't look like it's real deep. But I'm gonna hit it a couple times. Now I know some commenters have said, why don't you put white on your first? But the white tends to bleed sometimes. And I don't like to take that chance if, if I can just hit it a couple times and dry it and hit it a couple times till I get it built up. I'd rather do that. But I appreciate you guys making the comment. I do know about painting white. I have done some baits with, with white underneath. And like I said, sometimes it bleeds out under the stencil and the white really shows up then. So this way, my stencil's not moving so I can keep building it up without getting a lot of heavy paint on there and it bleeding under my stencil. So I'm gonna hit this once. dry that and then I'll bring it back and we'll peel it off. Get the other side and paint the 110s and uh, I'll kind of fast, fast that forward so you see it.
Okay, let's get some eyes on this guy. Both of these guys. So I made these looking down eyes. And stay tuned, because I'm going to have a video coming up on how I did that. And some ways to make a bunch of different eyes. But I wanted that looking down eye. And there it is. Both sides. And I got them on these. There we go. So let's get um, some epoxy on it and wrap this video up. All right, guys, here's the finished uh, Toro. Um, yeah, I brought outside. It's, it's pretty humid out here, but it's not a bad day. I'm kind of in the shade, just so you can kind of see the colors outdoors without having a lot of bright sunlight blowing them out. Um, but yeah, it turned out pretty good. These are, I, got, I did, like I said, I did two extras because I did a short video too that I'm gonna edit and put on shorts, YouTube shorts, but uh, yeah. I'm happy with them for as far as not having one to look at um, that always makes it a problem you know because you can't exactly see w exactly what's going on but you know I'm not really trying to copy these baits anyway but the pattern is something that um, you know it's something not really something special just using that um, using the uh, sizzle wrap on it and letting the paint build up on it, you can kind of get more of a detailed little back there. I might've come down a little further on the back than, than supposed to, but you know, hey, I'm happy with it. The colors, you know, the colors are probably good. I don't know, like I said, I don't have one to look at, but did off of a couple different pictures um, and kind of came up with an in-between of what I think it looked like in you know when you buy one but um yeah and then i did the looking down eyes let me bring one of these up closer for you i did the looking down eyes and i'm gonna do a video on making eyes i've been playing around with a bunch of different ways to make eyes but there you i think you can see the gold in there i'm also experimenting with different uh different epoxies as well um as you guys know i mostly use solar res um which is like a surfboard epoxy and it's it's really good i've always been happy with it but the last couple times i've bought it it seems to be a lot thicker than when i first originally started using it for some reason it's a lot thicker and it doesn't level out as good man i used to be able to just dip my baits down in there hang them up for a little bit and just let them level out and then put them in the light but the last two bottles I've bought of it, I've just battled with trying to get my epoxy smooth. So, uh, plus they went up in price. When I first started using Solar Res, it was like 30 bucks for, uh, I guess it's a quart. And it's jumped to like $52 a quart. And um, so I'm playing around with some of the Chinese resins. And uh, these two of these were actually done in Bob Smith which I do do lures and Bob Smith as well. Um, it's just, um, you know, it's just so much faster when you can dip them and then just hang them up, let them drip dry for a little bit and then put them in the light and they come out nice and smooth. I'm really missing that from Solar Res, but, and then the last, the last time I got it from them, it came all opened and it was all dumped out in the box and the bag and stuff. And I don't know, I've just, I've just been really disappointed with them. Um, so I'm playing around with different stuff. I might do a video on what I come up with and what I, you know, what I end up using regularly. But I mean, the Bob Smith does a really nice job. The only thing is, is when you got to do a bunch of lures, man, you got to be quick and you get, and I hate to mix up a whole bunch of it at once to try to do a bunch of lures. Cause it just starts setting too fast. That's even 30 minute. It just sets too fast and 
I know you can dilute these stuff, you know, thin these out and stuff like that. Um, I haven't really played around with a lot of that because I just, you know, if I'm selling a lure to somebody, I want to, I don't want it to be all tacky and sticky and, and not know what the results are going to be for long-term use. But I mean, like I said, I've been real happy with solar res and I'm battling it. Um, but you know, I'll check out some other stuff. I know the other, some people are using Illuminite and um, and Bob Smith and some different ones. So I'm just playing around, trying to find out what what my comfortable spot's going to be if I quit buying Solar Res. They got a couple other brands or a couple other mixtures of Solar Res that I haven't tried yet. But I mean, the stuff's so expensive. It's not like you just want to buy a, a quart of it and not be able to use it. So. I've been playing around, like I said, with some of the cheaper Chinese ones just to see. But so here we are. Let's let's wrap it up. Um, so I use transparent yellow, um, create createx, and then I use the transparent um, orange with just one drop of that crimson red, wicked crimson red, to give it that that little more of a fiery looking orange. And then in the beginning of the video, I told you I was using smoke black and um, I ended up switching that just to opaque black so I wouldn't have to hit it as much um, and get it spread out more, but I think it turned out okay. Um, and then I did the looking down eyes, I made those. Um, the popper actually has almost a black eye on it that I noticed from the pictures, but um, one of these I did with a darker eye. There's the looking down eye. And then pearl satin gold for the stencil. And there'll be a link to the stencil if you want to get this stencil. Um, to make some of these. Um, orange mouth. I did the orange on the mouth. But, yeah. And Bob Smith is the epoxy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to fish these for sure. Um see if I can't get get some some bites off of them there but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys can paint you some of these up and um, if you do let me know take a picture of them send them to me that'd be cool to see um, but I appreciate all you guys all you new subscribers especially and all the ones that's been with me since the beginning appreciate y'all love y'all and until next time always stay crusty my friends <laughs>